P0520 code. That's engine oil pressure, sensor or switch circuit. This one pops up a lot and it can mean a couple different things. The important thing is sometimes it's serious. Sometimes it's just a cranky sensor. So let's go through it step by step. Basically, your car's computer is saying, hey, the oil pressure reading I'm getting doesn't make sense. That could be because the pressure is actually too low, which is bad news. Or the sensor is just lying to the computer. So the trick here is figuring out which one you've got. First thing I do, check the oil level and condition. Pull the dipstick, see where it's at. If it's low, top it up and see if the light or code clears. If it's thick and nasty, change it. If it's milky or smells like gas, that's a whole other issue, like coolant or fuel mixing with the oil. Next step, verify the actual oil pressure with a mechanical gauge. This is where a lot of people skip ahead and just swap sensors, but I like to know for sure. You just screw the gauge into the same port the sensor sits in, fire up the engine and compare the reading to your spec. Here's where that good oil pressure, bad sensor thing comes in. It's totally possible for your oil pressure to be perfectly fine, but the sensor is sending garbage data to the computer. When that happens, the computer thinks something's wrong and throws the P0520 code, even though your engine's perfectly healthy. That's why testing with a gauge is so important. It tells you right away if you've got a real pressure problem or just a bad sensor. If the pressure's fine, next thing I look at is the sensor itself. These things go bad all the time. Sometimes they leak oil right through the body. Sometimes they just start giving flaky readings. If you see oil inside the connector, that's a big clue. They're usually cheap and easy to change. Unplug, unscrew, screw in the new one, plug it back in. Just make sure it's the right one for your engine. They may look the same, but have different calibrations. While you're there, check the wiring and connector. That spot on the engine sees a ton of heat, oil and vibration. Look for cracked insulation, corrosion or loose pins. Wiggle the connector while the engine's running. If your gauge jumps or the light flickers, you just found your problem. Repair it properly with solder and heat, shrink so it lasts. Also worth mentioning, wrong oil filter or oil weight can throw off the reading too. If you just changed your oil and went way thinner or thicker than spec or put on a bargain bin filter, that can mess with oil pressure and even trigger this code. Last resort, in rare cases, the PCM, the car's computer, could be the issue. But I only go there after checking oil level, actual pressure, sensor, wiring, and filter. So my order is, check oil level and condition. Test actual pressure with a mechanical gauge. If pressure's good, think good oil pressure, bad sensor, and swap it out. Inspect and fix wiring or connectors. Make sure oil type and filter are correct. Only then consider PCM issues. A lot of the time it's just a bad sensor or wiring, so don't jump straight to replacing the engine. Do these checks in order and you might fix it in your driveway for cheap. If this helped you out, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.